It looks like the State Street Promenade and outdoor dining will stay put for at least another six months. News Channel reporter John Palmentary joins us now live. And John, it takes a special vote for the City Council to make this happen, and that's coming tomorrow. Yeah, the promenade look to downtown Santa Barbara where you see those patios and parklets all throughout State Street and some of the outside streets. That was all approved as part of an emergency ordinance and that was part of an economic recovery plan. It has been renewed now several times and tomorrow when it goes in front of the city council, it could be renewed another six months. It's been about nine months since Santa Barbara closed State Street to traffic in the core of downtown and opened up promenade possibilities it had never experienced on this level before. A good way to bring the community together. Like, we need this. This concept took place as part of an emergency ordinance to help businesses struggling during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, the city is planning to extend it out until September and maybe beyond. It gives time to transition into the future. You know, so no, no, this is, I mean, it's a no brainer. Restaurants here and elsewhere in the city where patios and parklets were allowed say it's helped them stay in business at a time when their inside seating was cut out or drastically reduced. The city has also spruced up the area with more landscaping and lighting to make it as welcoming as possible with plans for street entertainment, part of the big picture in the months ahead. What still needs to be worked out is how all this is going to be sorted out between pedestrians, tables and chairs, skateboarders, bicyclists, and then room for emergency vehicles all sharing the same street, especially on a busy day. It's fantastic on the weekends when you see kids and families and old people and young people just utilizing that space, but it has to be organized. One idea is to keep bikes down the center and everything else on the outside. If it was designated right up the middle, I think that would work perfect because right now it's kind of chaotic. For what was put together in a piecemeal way, the reviews are positive and the plan to extend it for most of the year and maybe beyond seems to be welcomed. Before the pedestrians were just confined to the sidewalk, now they have all that additional space too. So there's plenty of room for everyone. We're getting to share the walkway and I think it's kind of sweet because we get to like slowly start acknowledging each other. And this ordinance also has some other aspects to it. For example, some of the city owned property that's being leased to some of these businesses, if they have trouble paying their taxes and fees, it gives them more time to work that out with the city on that lease plan. Right now, there's about 270 businesses that are in that category. This all takes place 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at Santa Barbara City Hall. Reporting live in downtown Santa Barbara's Promenade this evening, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Again, great information. Thanks so much for the preview, and I think all eyes on City Hall tomorrow. Thanks, John.